Hi everyone, it's Alex and Will again. So today we're gonna go over an unboxing from a recent trip we did this past weekend, a two day trip to Bolesławiec, Poland. Bolesławiec. Yep, that town is world famous for its pottery. And we didn't really know anything about Polish pottery before we moved to Germany, but everyone here is pretty obsessed with it. We spent two nights there. Um, they have a beautiful little city square, like a lot of the places in Poland if you visited. Um, definitely a lot of historic sites scattered about the town, but I definitely think the main attraction is the pottery. Um, being that there's about a hundred plus pottery shops throughout the town. So the reason that we went out of our way to buy pottery here is because in the U.S. the prices for Polish pottery are usually like four to five times higher than what we got them for um, at, at the factories themselves. So for example, like a plate in the U.S. might be like 54 or 55 dollars, but at a pottery factory outlet or something like that, you can get the same dinner plate for like 10 to 15 dollars. So it was definitely a huge value for the money and why we decided to take the trip. All right, so let's start the unboxing. So the first place that we went to was is called Andy. Well, the second place we went to is called Andy's. This is the first place we bought anything. And obviously we bought a lot. <laughs> we bought a lot. We bought the most from Andy's and this is a place a lot of Americans talk about um, because their prices are pretty good. Not as cheap as we thought they were gonna be. Still a lot of good stuff in presents. We got two mugs like this and some saucers. I like the cute little blue poppy pattern. I don't know if it's a poppy, but they're cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one with a more intricate pattern. We thought this was um, one of the more masculine mugs. It was a little hard to find. <laughs> and here is a Christmas ornament that we bought. Oh, yeah. Also ceramic. It is uh, pretty much the same pattern as the mug weighty because it's ceramic yeah it's nice <laughs> but it feels very sturdy like you're not just gonna break it if you hold it the wrong way like the glass bulbs one of these. another one in the first mug this one's for me it's got poppy flowers on it and alex bought this for herself so. yeah like look how nice it's like warms your hands another one but that's for my sister the matching saucers these are the matching saucers to the first plate. I remember their baking dishes were really nice though. They had a lot of good serving dishes and baking dishes. Mm -hmm. And they had some other interesting items too, like dog and cat bowls for food and water and just smaller items like that as well. These are some of my favorite patterns that we found at Andy's. I like the pop of bread. And that one is like a little bit more geometric. This is like a wax melter for the celestial person in my life. We got these two bowls for my friends at home. They like the pattern and they're fun. So we couldn't decide, we couldn't agree on like one pattern to get eight bowls of. So we got two of four different patterns that we liked that were all kind of the same size and had like similar rim colors at least. So when they're stacked, they look nice in the cabinets. Four more, two each of the same pattern. There's the first one. Just a simple white. White and blue one. And here's the second one. Mm. That's nice. So it's this like one way. is not for us, but um, a similar pattern to the first bowl we showed. Uh, similarly, we got this baking dish for family. <laughs> Same pattern as the ornament and one of the mugs. Mugs, yeah. The table's filling up. But this is our last item that we bought at Andy's. It's a large baking dish, but could also be good for serving as well. So yeah, it's super high quality, really thick. Yep, this is everything we bought from Andy's and I think it was around $426 for all of these items. So I guess if you cost average that out, I think we got about 20 items maybe. We got 25 items. It'd be about $17 an item. It was a good deal for everything once we like looked up later how much it would cost if you bought it in the US. And it's a lot of presents, so it's totally worth it. Yeah. Cool. So let's move on to the next. So after Andy's, we drove maybe like 15 minutes mm -hmm. to this um, little shop called Henry's and we only got one item from there. Yeah, I thought Henry's was good in terms of like big baking dishes and items like that in their second floor. Their downstairs was more of like really mix and match small plates and other items. Um, but one of the things that we didn't have specifically that I was interested in was a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> we 
We're grown ups now. We have a, yeah. a proper salt and pepper shaker. And it's 62 Zloty, which is about $15. Next to Henry's, around the corner basically, there were like three or four different smaller outlet stores that did have like a 50% off room and they had a lot of the more like lesser quality pieces but if you were willing to dig you could find some stuff in there we went through each store and like weren't really feeling inspired by anything we were seeing they're also a little bit more full of people after henry's we drove to manufacturer a lot of our friends really like this store this is one of the top ones that i saw and we got some espresso mugs they also have an experience there where you can like paint your own pottery so these are our little espresso mugs. These are actually one of my favorite patterns that I saw. And this pattern is like everywhere. This is not unique to Manufacturer. We saw this everywhere. Now we have motivation to get a better espresso maker than our $4 Goodwill one. What? <laughs> it's not the best. It's all right. I don't, I don't think I know how to use it. We went to another set of outlets mm -hmm. that I think were better and there's maybe like six of them in a row. Mm -hmm. And we ended up buying from two. We bought from Calic. They have a cardinal pattern. So they have little cardinals on them and my mom loves cardinals, especially in the spring. So we got four of those. Yeah. This is from, Visa. yeah, okay. Vizza we bought. A serving dish. Yeah, it's got a really intricate pattern on it of flowers and I think it's really pretty with the blue and the red and green mixed. Mm -hmm. It was such a small store, but Pizza, I thought, had some really great items. Um, I really liked their plates, and we ended up getting a set of plates for ourselves. One thing about buying plates, which I read online before, is that you should bring like a measuring tape with you because there's so many different sizes that are off by like half an inch. So we tried really hard to like match up some plates that were the same size so they'll stack nicely. We started with this pattern, which is the same as the chip serving dish. We got four of these and four of the other pattern ones because we kind of couldn't decide. So here's the other pattern uh, we yes. got. More simple. Alex is more into these ones. These are very like classic Polish pottery pattern, which I think is like a pretty basic thing to own, but I really like it anyway, so we got it. I had to get myself a baking dish, so I was jealous of the last one. And this is the pattern that I really like. We have the last bag. So this place is across the street from that whole like outlet strip that we bought these last couple bags at. They have really, really pretty plates here though. Like we love the selection. This first one is a nice medallion type of thing. I don't know how to describe that. And then the second one is a little bit more floral, but I think still very nice and goes with it. These are the last pieces that we bought on Saturday. I think, so yeah, like you said, we were shopping from like 9 a.m. to basically like 3.30 maybe. Yeah. And a lot of the places close at like 5 or 6. Yeah. I think we did a really full day, probably one to seven, eight, nine shops um, with a couple of those places being kind of side by side. So... Yeah, we were good for one day. I could have had another day of like looking around, um, but we did not do that. I was pretty burnt out by then. <laughs> we definitely, it's important to put lunch in the middle there somewhere, which I don't think that we did. We had lunch like after. Don't do that. Eat lunch in between. Stop for lunch. But I will say before lunch, the stores are a lot less crowded. Yeah, definitely uh, worth the trip. And if you're into pottery, this is your jam. This is your spot. <laughs> it's your Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Super Bowl. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe for more. And next time we'll be going to... Whatever, <laughs> whatever I feel like editing next is the next video that you'll see. Right. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Bye.